Hello everyone, it's PCL Pahir and in this video I'm gonna show you how to fix fatal errors on startup of the game Call of Duty Cold War Early Access. A lot of users have been complaining about this problem, so I'll cover each and every workaround that has helped different users across the globe to fix this problem. And I'm telling you in the beginning of this video only that if Call of Duty servers are down right now, then this might not help you, but if the servers are up and running, then these workarounds will surely help you. So what you have to do is just watch this video till the end and perform each and every step very carefully and I'm sure your problem will be fixed. But if anyhow this problem still persists, then you can write in the comment section and I'll try my best to help you out. And also if you're on my channel for the first time, I want you all to know that I post regular gaming content, so make sure to subscribe to my channel right now for regular content related to this game and many other games. And now let's get started without any further ado. So the first most basic thing that works for almost everyone is that you should try running your game with the help of WT Fast. The main purpose of this software is to fix online lag and hyping issues but it is the most helpful software to fix server issues too. But using it is a bit complicated so I've already made a guide on how to run any game using this software. I'll provide the link of that video in the description of this one so you can easily watch it. So just run your game using WT Fast and your problem will most probably be fixed but if you're still facing this issue then proceed to the next step. So the first step is a really important one. I consider this step to be a mandatory step before performing any further steps. In this we'll be clean booting a PC. So what clean booting does is, it refreshes all the components of your PC and helps in resolving any software conflicts too. So if your game was not installed properly on your PC, then clean booting might help in that case. So it is a really important step and if you don't know how to clean boot your PC, then I've already made a really quick guide on how to do so. I've provided the link of that video in the description of this one. So just clean boot your PC and then proceed to the second step. I consider this step to be a mandatory one, so yeah, just perform this step first and then proceed to any further steps. I found this step after searching on many forums related to this topic and it is a really important step because it is working for most of the users. So what you have to do is you just have to go to your explorer and here go to this PC, right click on it and go to its properties. In properties you have to go to advanced system settings and here you have to go to performance and in performance you again have to go to settings. And in settings make sure you are in advanced settings. In advanced settings you have to go to programs, select programs here and click on change. And now comes the most important part. Here deselect automatically manage paging files, size for all drives. And now you have to select the drive in which your game is installed. So for example I only have C drive so I will select this but if you have your game installed in D drive then select the D drive. Now you have to select custom size here and now the question is what you have to enter here. So in initial size you have to enter the recommended size here as you can see recommended here recommended for me is 1896MB so initial size should be equal to the recommended size that is equal to 1896 now the maximum size should be equal to now let's take a calculator here and if you have 8 gigs of RAM my PC has 8 gigs of RAM so just multiply 8 by 1024 and the answer is 8192 so you just have to enter your RAM in MB so 8192 should be for 8 GB of RAM but if you have 16 gigs of RAM just enter 16 into 1024 and you should enter 16384 in the maximum size. Now for 32 gigs of RAM you should enter 32 into 1024 that is 32768 and lastly let's cover for 12 gigs of RAM too that is 12 into 1024 and it is equal to 12288. So you have to enter it in the maximum size. Now you have to just click on OK, apply these settings and it will ask you to restart your PC to apply these settings. So just restart your PC and your problem will be most probably fixed. But if it's still not fixed, then proceed to the next step. Now this step is again a really important one and it is working for many users. So all you have to do is, you just have to open your blizzard.net and here you have to change your region. So for example, right now I am using Europe region. You just have to change it to your current region to anything else. So use Asia and then try running your game. But if you're still facing this problem, then all you have to do is just change the server and go to the third option. So for me, the third option will be America and most probably your problem will be fixed. Because this problem mostly occurs because of heavy usage in a particular server. So this might solve your problem. But if it doesn't fix your problem, then proceed to the next step. If any of the previous step did not work for you, then it is a really important step. I have not included this step in the beginning of this video only, otherwise people think like that it is a video full of paid promotions, but it is not like that. The thing is, if you download any PC repair tool, it might help you in fixing problems like these. I have already made a video on one such software that is Outbuy PC Repair, System Optimizer and Performance Booster. What you have to do is, you just have to download it and the best part about this software is, it gives you one free repair. 
in the trial version also. So you don't have to buy the software for one repair, but if you want to repair your PC constantly in one month or every week, then you might have to buy the uh, premium version. But the thing is, the first repair is free, so just download the software, scan your PC, and if there is any error, then repair it. Then restart your PC and then try running your game. I will provide the link of this video in the description. So just download this and I hope this works for you but if it doesn't then proceed to the next step. Now this step is a really interesting one and an important one at the same time. It is very interesting because a lot of users think because they have updated their windows and they have updated their GPU then their PC is up to date. But that's not it. Because while gaming a lot of other drivers are used for example your display adapters, your network adapters, your keyboard and mouse drivers and these are not updated regularly with your windows update. So what you need to do is. You have to just go to Google and download any driver updater. There are many third party softwares which just scans for all the drivers and update them one by one. So if you are unable to figure out which software to download here, then you can just watch my videos on one of such softwares that is driver booster 7. I will provide the link of this video in the description. In this video I have shown how to download this software, install this software and use it to update your drivers. Also it has many interesting tools like you can fix no sound issues, fix device error, fix network failure fix bad resolution so you can do these things also but it's still up to you if you want to download any other software you can download it but if you want to download this one i'll provide the link of this video in the description of this one so that's it for this step so i believe that is it for this video i hope it worked for you if it worked for you then please leave a like if you have any question write in the comment section and also don't forget to subscribe for regular gaming content related to this game and many other games thank you and have a nice day